when you see him tap on my chest, it's because that my muscle connection. It's not because he wants to tap my chest. <laughs> What's up my beautiful people, we're back, we're back. Uh, today's a good, good day. Uh, only had a four hour shift at the gym. I'm just on the way home now, I'm gonna get myself some food because I'm starving. I didn't even eat today and it's one o'clock. Why didn't I eat? Because I had so much food yesterday. I had milkshake, I had a burger. All of those of you guys that follow me on Snapchat, you know what I ate yesterday. Chili cheese fries. By the way, Snapchat is this. If you ever want to add me it's more of a like a lifetime of what i do you know uh, like i'll film these videos and you'll see what i do day by day but snapchat's like a lifetime you know like you see what i'm doing that day at that moment so if you want to see that shit, then add me up if not you don't give a fuck just don't worry today we've got a subscriber session subscriber sessions guy wow <laughs> you know, i've got someone who actually wants to train me that subscribed to my channel so you know i'm blessed i'm happy uh will holmes i know that he was a friend of one of my other friends so we had a we have a mutual friend, and he also, funny enough, he lives pretty close to me. But he's at uni at the moment, so he's actually back for the weekend from uni. Um, so we're gonna go get it in. Uh, told him I had the keys to the gym, so we're gonna go go to my gym. He's coming over on the train. I'm gonna pick him up about three ish. Uh, we've got a push day. I've got my seven fives on bench. On it's supposed to be one hundred five kilos, but I'm gonna do one ten. So seven sets of five on 110, uh, and then we'll see how it goes. And then we're just gonna have some fun, you know, you know drop sets, super sets, whatever. We'll just absolutely kill it today. I'm feeling good. I'm fe I haven't even eaten today. I'm feeling good. You know, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna have some good, a good, nice pre-workout meal. Both have a pre-workout, and then we'll, we'll get it in. And hopefully, you'll enjoy this video. And we'll see you in the gym. We'll see you in the gym. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. How you doing? How you doing? Good man. Good to meet you man. Yeah, that's it. Just to get your first taste on camera. No. Nah. Nice. It's tasty, right? It's like, yeah. It's, it's like slush puppy. It doesn't have that like stingy taste. Like nah, it. it's like slush puppy. Yeah. <laughs> and you have to keep your feet flat as well. You yeah. can't do that. You can't do that? No, you can't do that. What the? F it's got to be feet flat, bum on the bench, yeah. head back. I'll be fucked. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to. Wouldn't Everyone likes to bench like this. That's what I do, yeah. Like, I really noticed that. Because the lap comes like that. forward like that. Yeah. And it works. I've seen uh, oh. Ross Dickerson do it. And I was like, why is he doing that for? Yeah. And I started Googling around about it. You look so much more. Yeah, it's well nice because the lap also works like this. Yeah. As well as just like backwards. It's nice. I used to just do it like that. Mm. And you throw it like that. It's nice. It's so better. Get some heavy weight as well. And I'm acting my actions They wanna know why I'm fast to assassin Had ravioli with no name brand If you see me, yeah, I'm brave, right? Eating bacon, got the game tied My pocket's fat, I let my bitches hold it So that's why they go shopping at Lane Bryant, yeah <laughs> I'm on my job, and my work's sighted 
Giving all that's left of me if I feel a way that I'm gon' write it If they talk about it, so we on sight it Just give me ten like we on sight it Cause my nigga been rolling them drinks up so much He gon' get all right it's slick Million dollar dreams in my choho yeah. In a city where every other house is a foreclose yeah. They said it ain't trickin' if you got it Shit nigga, that's a folklore Flip it, get it, back, hit the connect up Talks on high, this would be like talking first class to any destination. 23 in a fly motherfucker like a C Mike. Niggas always asking about the occupation. I assure you that I'm greatly fucking compensated. Me and Dollar Deals, we ain't got the time to fucking contemplate it. That's not really hard to tell when you finally fucking made it. Why you think he's shit? Why? For them diamonds, cause the girls love a nigga that's shiny. Fly first class, reclining. Spend years and I make it perfect timing. Shoot looking down for a key cl- When you see him top of my chest. It's because that my muscle connection. It's not because he wants to tap my chest. <laughs> tap the chest, tap the muscle that's being used. You'll feel a lot more. You can concentrate when you're squeezing. Remember that shit. Let's go. Fun now. I want them all out, convertible sport whipping Property or real estate, still a brick flipping Get a lot of ass, none of fake all Yeah, millions Shout out my 577 subscribers <laughs> You're one of them <laughs> Catch you slipping every night, they head right, they big and loud So I hate them like a tax refund for sure We gon' get them, been fucking up the game long as I've been living Nothing was the same soon as we ran in the building Can no longer with the underground like cold miners drilling the guillotine press is to target upper chest nice and slow past the chin real close nice stretch big squeeze hit those collarbones stop looking skinny <laughs> Killed the workout, killed it. Awesome workout, really, really good. Gonna take Will back home now, and then get some food in. But really, really, really good session. We'll be doing it again very, very soon. Yeah. So the workout you just saw was um, uh, was me and uh, my friend subscriber. Subscriber and friend uh, Will Holmes. We absolutely smashed the push workout. Best thing about the fitness industry guys is that as soon as you meet someone who's kind of in it as well, you just click and and that's it, it's game over, you know. You do, like there was no awkwardness, you know. I just picked him up from the train station, never seen him before. Boom. Straight into conversation, straight into everything. It's, it was so easy. Best thing about it guys. What I've been doing recently is uh, I've been following like a powerlifting routine and it's kind of not a powerlifting routine but it kind of is. Like I've got the powerlifting routine off a powerlifting website, a uh, powerlifting app actually. It's kind of powerlifting but it goes into kind of higher volume. You lift twice a week on bench squat and dead. First week is six sets of six reps and then seven sets of five reps. Obviously the seven sets of five reps you put the weight up a bit. And then the next week it goes eight sets of four reps and 10 sets of three and the weight goes up again for each of these weights so six by six is one weight seven by five is a bit more eight by four is a bit more ten by three is a bit more and that's two weeks and then the next the next week cycle you go back to six by six but the weight goes up from the first week and you do that again for two weeks and then you go back to the first week again but put the weight up again to six by six 
and then you come back through the, through the cycle of the um, 6x6, 7x5, 8x3, 10x3 and then eventually by the end of that your 10x3 will be heavier than the first week's 10x3 and the same for the 6x6 and the same for the rest of them. I'm really enjoying it. It takes me like half an hour to do these kind of things at the start and then I can break down into my bodybuilding split and um, really kind of start to break down that muscle fibre and really break down that muscle. Powerlifting at the start, bodybuilding in the middle and the end and at the end I kind of just absolutely burn the muscle out. So if you've ever seen Mike O'Hearn and his power bodybuilding, it's a similar idea to that. I consciously, consciously, like you have to think about it every single week to add weight and progress in each of those lifts that you do. So for me, I have a couple of constant workouts, a const constant workouts, a couple of constant exercises within my workouts that I will consciously add weight to. So for example, I've always been doing overhead press, I've always been doing bench press and incline flies. The first week when I started them, you know, in fact, this is the third week on it now, I've put my, my incline flies up by five kilos, I've put my OHP up by five kilos, that was yesterday. I've also put um, my bench up by, you know, 10 kilos. So you have to consciously progress each week. It doesn't have to be in weight. It can be in sets. It can be in reps. But as long as you've added something else in with the same weight, if not a bigger weight the, than the week before, you're not going to progress. That progression, the natural progression, the, the conscious progression, combined with a calorie surplus will lead to muscle gain. Okay, you will get fat gain as well, but it will lead to muscle gain. And depending on where you want that muscle to be will be how the the workout is kind of sculpted. So for me, I, don't, I want a lot of upper chest and a lot of shoulders. So, okay, I do my bench at the start. That's just for me to get stronger. Then I go overhead press, like length back. That hits up here as well, as well as the shoulders. And then I hit the incline flies. Then I hit the guillotine presses. That's all just to kind of bring this out. So I'm hoping, targeting up here as much as possible, um, as well as other things, that combined with the calorie surplus will lead to my muscle gain and will lead to me getting thicker, bigger, stronger, and better for the next season. And it's easy, you guys, when you're having a calorie surplus after being in such a deficit for so long, like, honestly, these workouts are getting comfortable, more, more easy as I go along. Uh, if you guys have any questions about it, please comment below and I'll, and I'll answer them straight away. It's also something new that I've never tried before, it's push-pull legs, and then I go push-pull legs. That's, that's, that's everything six, six times a week. That's everything uh, on my body trained twice a week. I'll either take a rest once a week or I'll take a rest kind of just when I feel it. So I'll go push-pull legs, push-pull legs, and then I'll start on a push again. And then I'll keep going through the cycles until like I just feel like I need a rest. So like right now I'm getting real sore, so I will take a rest sometime this week. Haven't decided when yet, but I'll probably do it on a day when you know I've got to go. I'm going to London sometime this week. I'll probably do it on a day when I've got to go to London, or I've got to do it. I'm going to go see a friend and have some food, that kind of thing, guys. So it's all about finding the balance in that fitness life. It's not like no, I've got to go to the gym at this time at this time, and no. I've just blank out everything else. You've got to really got to find the balance to really enjoy that kind of lifestyle. It doesn't have to be a hard lifestyle. Once you find something that you love, you've got to just, you know, you've got to embrace it. You've got to bask in it. You've got to, you know, you've got to enjoy every step of the way. But also finding the balance, guys. Because, you know, you've got friends, you've got family. And, oh, my alarm. You know, they may not understand completely what you're doing. And that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Some people ask me all the time, why did you go to the gym so much? Why did you have to hurt yourself every week? Well, it's just because it's what I do, you know, but, you know, each to their own. You don't need to worry yourself about those people. You just carry on doing what you're doing, but finding the balance so they don't even have to ask the questions. That's my opinion on it, guys. Um, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, rate, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.